Hello, and in today's episode of Cooking with the Gorilla, we're going to be making a homemade Alfredo, perfect for a spa day. We're continuing our series with Patty's Pub, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia cooking series. This is our third episode. We're still on Charlie. We'll have one more episode of Charlie's recipes, and then we're going to move on to, I'm not even sure. Who's after Charlie? Frank. So we're following along with this uh, cookbook that came out. The Patty's Pub, the worst bar in Philadelphia cookbook. It's got all the different recipes that are relative to the series. And one of Charlie's recipes is the Spa Day Spaghetti. Now, this Spa Day Spaghetti that Charlie makes, we'll go over this recipe for you and the recipe for this and the alfredo will be on our website the gypsy and the vanilla gorilla.com so you can always go back through check any of the recipes that we've done in the past and check out the recipes that we're working on now now i'm going to show you how to make our spa day alfredo and this is a crab alfredo perfect for any spa day so if that sounds interesting stick around So what you're going to need to make your homemade Alfredo is some cream cheese, some fettuccine noodles or some sort of noodles. The thicker but not too thick are the best. Some Italian seasoning, some Parmesan, a stick of butter. Some, then you can add some chicken, some mushrooms, or what we'll be using tonight. Crab. Now I use imitation crab. But stick around. We're coming up next. You're also going to need some milk. So you want to get a saucepan, skillet. We're going to use the cast iron skillet. And you want two thirds of a cup of milk. Two thirds of a cup of milk. And you want to get that hot. Real hot boiling hot. Now while that milk's heating up we're going to put in our entire package cream cheese. It should be eight ounces. Let that all melt down together. take you for a spa day, just you and me. A what day? A spa day. What is this word spa? I feel like you're starting to say a word and you're not finishing it. Are you trying to say spaghetti? Are you taking me for a spaghetti day? No, Charlie, I, I wasn't trying to take you for a spaghetti day. Uh, oh God, you know what, it doesn't matter. It's okay, that's all right, I'm doing something nice here. I tell you what, let's go to a movie. Wanna go to a movie? Dee, I go to a movie or a spaghetti place with you, you know, and out there I'm the rat. I'm gonna reduce to a medium high heat. Now we got it boiling. We're going to just continue to stir so that none of this burns until this all melts down. Comes one. It'll take about five to eight minutes. Okay, now leaving that on medium high heat, we're going to add our stick of butter. That's just about all the way incorporated together. 
So we're going to get this open and we're going to add this to it. We're going to melt this down until it's incorporated as well. Keep stirring, guys. Get your other pan started for your noodles. We're going to get those in with just a little bit of oil and boil them till they are done. Okay, now that the butter's just about incorporated into this, we're going to add our seasoning. This is parsley garlic, a little bit of red pepper, and this is just Italian seasoning, vice versa. All right, now we can reduce the heat down to low. Stir this real good, and then we're gonna need to take one cup of Parmesan cheese and we're going to slowly add it into this. Full cup, right? Or is it two cups? Now if this becomes too thick on you, you can add a little more milk. You just want to, you're going to want to increase the heat some. And slowly add your milk uh, so that it can warm up as it, as you're adding it. Otherwise you're going to get clumps. But this looks like a nice consistency for Alfredo. It will thin out with the noodles. call that good now when you go to add whatever meat you want to with it uh, if everyone's okay with it you can add it to this sauce um, or you can add it when you add uh, once the noodle noodles are, are done you're gonna add this to your noodles and then you can add it right then uh, as long as it's all pre-cooked you can have it off to the side and kind of add it as a filler I am going to add the crab to this, but Tammy doesn't eat crab, but she can eat around the crab. Now we just need to take this and add it to our noodles, stick it in a Ziploc bag, and we're ready for the spa. When we boil our noodles for pasta, we add just a little bit of olive oil in there, and that's to keep the noodles from sticking. <clears throat> Now 
Now once your noodles are done, not al dente, but done, we're gonna add this Alfredo mixture that we got right to our noodles. Now you can notice that it may thicken up from sitting. So there you go, it thins out when you get it in the hot noodles. Looks delicious, perfect for any spa day. Now we just need to get it into the Ziploc bag and we can take it to the spa and enjoy it on our next spa retreat. Full of great energy, very heartwarming, stick to your bones. This is gonna fit in any jumpsuit, sweatpants, it's convenient, it's clean, and you can warm it up in your hot tub. Now spa, it's a real a word a we a weird word. Down here, Charlie puts it as D saying, so I thought I'd take it for a spa day, just you and me. A what day? Charlie says. D says a spa day. Charlie says, what is this word spa? I feel like you're starting to say a word and you're not finishing it. Are you trying to say spaghetti? Are you taking me for a spaghetti day? And this is a spa day spaghetti. It's portable, it's convenient, and it's delicious. Now in this recipe, they call for two tablespoons olive oil, four garlic cloves minced, one can of crushed tomatoes, one teaspoon dried oregano, 12 frozen meatballs, three quarter pound spaghetti, two tablespoons butter, salt and pepper, and grated Parmesan. You boil water and salt in the thing, put some olive oil, make your sauce, Make your pasta, stick it in a bag, and take it with you. You can substitute frozen meatballs for homemade. Brown them in a skillet or oven, and then add them. You got to have meatballs, though. That's like a must with spaghetti. Make sure you go check out this cookbook by Laurel Randolph. And go check out our website for our rendition of this Alfredo noodle. Now this Alfredo is quick, it's easy, it is delicious. It's a, a home cooked, warm, stick to your rib type of meal. You don't have to put it in a Ziploc bag. You can enjoy it the regular way. But uh, we put an imitation crab in this. Uh, there are different variations. This has been Cooking with the Gorilla. There's a whole playlist. You bye-bye now, okay?